Hi guys, welcome back. It's Toba Logo here to the 2014 FIFA World Cup Brazil game. I've been playing this game a lot recently. I've been trying to get better at it. Um, and I feel like I am gradually getting better at it, but I've had a few setbacks in most of my runs recently. So I think this one, will, this Singapore run, will be the last run on 2014 I do for maybe a week or two. And we'll con concentrate on 2006, 2018 and 2010 again. So today I decided to do Singapore because it's been a massively requested nation over the past few weeks. And uh, yeah, we'll just give them a go and see how well we do with them. Uh, just a little side note as well, something that I need to draw your attention to. I have collaborated with another YouTuber name that's called Ryubix. And he has done a podcast on the World Cup, which I do feature in. I am a guest on that podcast. If you want to go check it out, I'll put it in the pinned comment. Uh, it's currently premiered for Saturday. Uh, UK time, 8 o'clock in at night time. I'm not sure when that time is, but you could um, go and find out for yourself on the video. It's currently scheduled as a, as a premiere. And um, yeah, if you want to hear me uh, on the podcast, then you can. You can go and check it out if you want to. And um, listen to my bad footballing opinions, I guess. So Singapore, a nation we have done in previous World Cup games uh, in 2010. I can't remember how far I got on 2010. I must have got to like the round of 16 or something. I remember getting out the group stage in 2010. That's all I remember, but Singapore has been a very popular nation amongst people on here to be requested by, and we still got to play them on 2006 as well, so I hope you'll enjoy that one. But we're going to cross them off our list here today on 2014. Let's make it special and find out what kind of group Singapore will get. I've randomised lots of nations in this one. I've taken out uh, England and uh, Germany because England and Germany recently have been annoying me on this game and I figured no I need a break from playing those nations. We randomized the groups so in three, two, one, boom and there we go we've got a group <laughs> Honduras, Nigeria and Ghana. I'm not looking forward to that one, I would rather have a group such as Group C with Afghanistan, North Korea, Brazil and Gambia and just me replace Brazil or something like that. So let's check out the squad for Singapore. I don't know any of the players apart from this Jurek guy. He was a star player on the 2010 World Cup game. It doesn't seem like they do star players on this game, but it does seem to be a highly rated player on this game still. 63 rated for Singapore. Here we go then. First match of Singapore's World Cup is against Honduras, a team that hasn't featured in the World Cup since 2014. Uh, they kind of fallen off a little bit, didn't qualify for 2018 and don't look like they're going to qualify for 2022 either. So we'll miss you Honduras, we'll miss you, we'll see you again maybe in 2026. But yeah, Singapore have never qualified for a World Cup, even though, I don't know, are they? A, I don't really know too much about Singapore. Are they a good one-star team or a good nation in um, Asia? I'm not... I'm not saying are they a good nation in terms of like someone like Iran or South Korea but are they at least competitive are they do they get decent results I don't know I'm hoping we can score loads of good goals I'm hoping that Singapore are at least competitive we've gone for it oh I thought that went in I actually thought that went in by Zurich let's hope the Honduras don't go like ultra defensive against me like it seems like I'm getting the ball in decent positions but I just hope that well, they don't go ultra defensive against me. Here comes Martinez. He's out on the wing. He's tackled, but he still gets the ball back. The prospect of not playing England and Germany in this run is um, very, very satisfying for me. Crossed in. Oh, Honduras. Wait, what? Oh, come on, ref. That is light. That is light as anything. Can we see that again? Because... That was light. I'm fairly sure it was because I, I didn't even press any slide tackle buttons or anything. Of course, they wouldn't show me the replay. Why would they? I mean, that is absolute corruption on FIFA's part. Down the middle and Honduras get the first goal of the game. It's Garcia with the penalty. And um, I want to say that penalty was very dubious. I want to see it again. Well, isn't that just weird? Look, every time I keep going back, there's at least three seconds to go back. But if I press the LT button and go back, it just keeps replaying the same highlight. Well, thanks, FIFA. Thanks for that uh, obvious sign of corruption right there. Here comes Jurek. 
Can he get the shot off? He can, and it's scored! Nice one. What a goal that was by Jurek. He's equalised to make it 1-1. One, one. And, wow, that was a nice strike, wasn't it? Those kind of shots are very weird on this game. You can, like, turn away from the goal, but still power it in. And um, the Honduras keeper could not save that. That was an absolute bullet. Jurek is the one that we need to rely on here today. Oh, go on, Jurek. Use that strength. Yes! That Honduras player was all over me, but we still managed to get the shot off. And it's 2-1 now. Incredible from Singapore. Incredible. I mean, look at this guy. He's he's tall and he looks like a bit of a beast. He's my kind of striker. And yeah, Singapore have taken the lead here, surprisingly against Honduras. I mean, look, I was muscling that guy off for ages and just tapped it in under the keeper from near post as well. That is incredible motivation from Jurek. So it's half time and a very, very nice half for Singapore. It is 2-1. Jurek with both the goals and obviously we conceded that penalty. Still remains at 2-1 as we go into the 60th minute. I mean, we've had barely any chances. Honduras have tightened up their defence. And there we go. Singapore get their first win at this World Cup. Amazing stuff from them and Jurek especially as well from getting those two goals. Especially the determination on the second goal to hold that defender off push him away and just tap it in. I mean, that's incredible. We could use a guy like that in this run, especially against stronger teams, of course, such as France and Brazil. Uh, but yeah, great result. And we move on to the next group stage game. I think that Ghana and Nigeria will be the two harder opponents in this group. I think Honduras, it, it could have gone either way with Honduras, but I think that Ghana and Nigeria are more cemented to beat me because obviously they've got better players than Honduras. Our second match then is against Nigeria, arguably, probably the strongest team of the group. Um, next to Ghana, of course, but I'd say Nigeria do edge out Ghana on this game because I, I know that Nigeria have better strikers than Ghana in this game. Oh, come on, another penalty? I mean, that was more stonewall, that penalty, because... Um, I, he did shoot and then he fell over to the floor. So that's another penalty con for, conceded by Singapore. And it's Musa. The goalkeeper needs to step up in this one. Oh, he went to the right and went to the left. And Musa scores in the fourth minute to make it 1-0 to Nigeria. It's a bit of a sloppy way to give away a penalty in the first four minutes. Just because Nigeria were about to shoot and I knocked him over on the floor. Um, so yeah, we got unlucky on that that one. Through ball here. here. Here we go. Is she? Come on. Get into the box, someone. Someone get in the box. That's not... Oh, I was about to say. It wasn't bad, but cut out by the Nigerian defence. Oh, ref, really? Like, there's no contact on this game, is there? I went up to him, tackled him legit. A little bit of, like, pushing and shoving. And the ref's like, no, we can't have any of that. Well, apart from having really no chances for Singapore. We've done all right to keep it at 1-0. Nigeria have pressed us a little bit, but they haven't actually gotten a goal out of it. So I'm quite impressed with Singapore's defence, apart from the fact that we gave away a penalty in the fourth minute. But yeah, no, it's been quite uneventful. Oh, here we go. I'm going to have to shoot. Oh, it always gets blocked, dude. It always does. Like, every time. I don't know what it is about this game on this difficulty. Sometimes, if you play certain sides, they will not let you go past. Unless you're extremely lucky, of course. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, great defending. Great defending by Singapore. That is what you need in a run. It's just defending like that. That is incredible. I made the mistake, and um, I thought I was going to get punished for it for like the third run in a row or something but instead comes to the rescue oh this is a chance come on ref are you kidding me you blow it and i went for the shot and it actually went in it was actually going towards the goal come on ref that is so unfair but yeah we only just narrowly lost against nigeria if we didn't concede that penalty at the start it definitely would have been nil nil i mean nigeria weren't that great they really weren't and that gives me hope against ghana it really does that nigeria result really hurt my form look at that all the defensive stats have gone down even though we conceded one goal 
Last match of the group then, Ghana versus Singapore, and we just need to win. I mean, there is a potential opportunity to draw, and then maybe Honduras beat Nigeria, but I don't want to rely on that because, well, it's just unlikely that that's going to happen, isn't it? We need to beat Ghana here today, and the Nigeria match has given me a lot of confidence in that. I mean, yeah, we played really well against Nigeria. We only conceded because of a penalty. Here comes Jurek. Is he strong enough? No, he's not on that occasion to hold off that defender. Remember, we have to win. Oh, maybe not. Honduras have taken the lead against Nigeria. Okay, well, a draw would be enough then at the moment. Oh, Ghana, really? Like, that was such a, I guess, a good tackle. Crossed in. Okay, cleared away from the goalkeeper's hands. And it's going to go to half time, I reckon, with nil nil on the score sheet. Um, again, good performance from Singapore to keep it in nil nil. Okay, well, Nigeria have got back on the uh, score sheet and it's 1 1, which is really bad for us because that means that we'll get knocked out. Good play. Good play. Yes, nice one. And it's Jurek with the goal and he makes it 1 0 to Singapore. That play was so nice. A little bit of sleep walking there from Ghana at the back. But we've made sure we capitalised on it. This was just nice play. I was going to, like, centre it, I guess. But as I like, know, go for the shot. It's Jurek. And Jurek scores another goal at this World Cup. And Ghana could be going out here on this result. The tackling is just not in my favour, apart from there, of course. I don't know why I threw balled it there. Because... Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, good save. The shot was just... A little bit on the underpowered side, though. Crossed in. No. Oh, my God. They missed a sitter. Prince missed an absolute sitter. That was literally, like, there for the taking. It was absolutely there for the taking. And he blazes it over the bar. My heart just, like, skipped the deep then. I thought I was going to get knocked out. One final push from Ghana, perhaps. Don't give away a penalty, okay? It's a corner to Ghana. Please don't score. If they do, it's run over. It's game over. Please. No. Goalkeeper's got it. Thank you. Thank you for that. We're going to boot it away. And hopefully that'll be the final whistle. It is the final whistle. Did we get into the last bit? Yes, we did. The round of 16 is confirmed for Singapore. What a moment for them. Of course, winning 1-0 against Ghana. And, of course, the result against Honduras carries us through to the next round. And the Nigeria match, I mean, obviously we lost that one, but it was still a close result. Let's find out who our round of 16 opponents are. And I think Ghana are going home from this result. I mean, they had it. They had it in their own hands, but Nigeria somehow beat Honduras. Well, I mean, they should have really, to be honest. I don't know why I'm saying somehow. But yeah, there we go. Nigeria is seven and Singapore was six. And Ghana with four points. Well, I mean, looking at the round of 16, sometimes I just think that this game is totally against me. <laughs> We're against the Netherlands for our round of 16 match. And then uh, we've got Brazil versus Armenia, Nigeria versus Mexico, Japan versus Afghanistan, France versus Macedonia, Ukraine versus Wales, Argentina versus Spain, and Canada versus Yemen. All right, so our round of 16 match is against the Netherlands. So this run could be coming to an end in the round of 16 for like the 1,000th time because we keep going up against big nations. And um, most of the time, I just can't deal with big, bigger nations because um, on world-class difficulty, they play just uh, such a fine level that you just can't deal with them. I haven't really found out the way to sort of expose bigger teams. Come on, really ref again? Netherlands went for the shot and then fouled in the box in the first four minutes. These defenders need to stop giving away penalties all the time, man. Right, where's Van Persie going to go in this one then? Is he going to go right, middle or left? Let's find out. Ah, he put it over the bar with a cheeky chip attempt that completely fails and it's still a nil-nil. I see a guy out on the wing, and that's a not a bad ball at all. Let's go for the strike over the bar. Just shames it, though. Come on. Into the middle. Oh, no! Off the post and the goalkeeper, and it goes out for a corner. Oh, my God. That was so close. Look at that. Off the goalkeeper, off the post, off the defender, and it goes out for a corner. Look how close we were to scoring. 
Oh my goodness, but we have the corner just before half time. Can we get anybody to get ahead off in this one? Go on. Oh, okay. Well, that was weird. <laughs> that should be a penalty. No. Okay, fouled, but okay. Here we go. Go on. Oh, just wide. Jurek, just wide. Singapore posing a lot of threats against this Dutch team. That's not a bad ball. Oh, nice one. He's completely open. Go for it. Oh, just over the bar. Could have gone forward a little bit. Maybe. I'm not sure. I probably would have got tackled. No. Tackle him. Oh, that was so close. That was ridiculously close by Lenz, I think that was. I couldn't tackle him properly. And then he just, oh, just shaves the post. That was a great ball by the Dutch. Off the post. Oh, okay. Well, we're getting so lucky here, guys. Oh, my God. That could have been... Handball or something. I literally hit his arm, but good thing FIFA doesn't recognise that on these games. Okay, well that's going through. Is he fast enough? He's got no stamina. Oh, again over the bar! We're going to have to take some of these players off because people like Jorik are literally out of stamina and I cannot have him here anymore. Huge substitution for Singapore. Three men coming on for the out of stamina players, including Jorik. Okay, well, we drag it to extra time. Singapore have had more shots. Of course, we've hit it from distance quite a lot as well. But, um, yeah, the Netherlands have come close as well. We can't use any more substitutions. So what we've got on the pitch is it for the rest of the match. And if we can get it to penalties, then that would be great. We've gone in. Let's go for it. Oh, just wide again. See, we're shooting from distance and we're not actually getting anywhere. We need to go and come closer. We're dragging this to penalties on current scoreline. Which is amazing. They go for it. Oh, okay. Thank God that didn't go in. That's usually the computer's thing to do. If it can't score, it'll hit one from distance and it will go straight in. You can guarantee it, but it didn't on that occasion. It's just been a very frustrating game for Singapore. I feel sorry for them, but that's going to go through. And what a save by the Singapore keeper. That was probably going to go in, but he saves it and it's still nil-nil. Okay, come on, guys. Just focus for the next five minutes. Crossed in. No. No. Oh, okay. Thank you. It's going to penalties. A very frustrating half where the Netherlands have just sat back and um, defended most of the time and then tried to get counter-attacks and stuff. But Singapore have done really well here to get it all the way to penalties. And if we go out here, then that is respectable at least because the Netherlands should have won this match. I mean... Eight shots to ten. Most of ours were from distance as well. It's been a really tough game. Can we finish this off on penalties? Van Persie's got another chance to score a penalty here. And he's, he saved it. Yes. Nice one. He does the little stutter and it ruins the penalty. Can Tan score to make it 1-0 to Singapore? I hope so. No. Okay. Well, it's now still 0-0 on penalties. Hunter Lahr now with a chance. To put his nation up 1-0. We saved it. We saved it. Nice one. We saved it. Ref. <laughs> I thought the ball was going to spin into the back of the net then. I was like, come on. You can't do me like that. Okay, it's Ishak. Or Ishak, if you want to say that. Yes, he scored. Singapore are 1-0 up on penalties. Nice one. All right. It's Schneider now. Can Schneider score his penalty for the Netherlands? I hope not. Okay, he has. It's uh, back at 1-1. But we are got... Well, we've got the advantage, sorry. Uh, that's in the yellow. That's not a good penalty. Okay, maybe it is. All right. This game is so weird with the penalties. Like, I put it in the yellow. It's like, nah, that was a good penalty. Strootman. Uh, I just gave him a massive gap then. The stutters on this game really put me off. It's Q Lee now. Or Kui Lee, however you say it. It's going that way, and it's saved, but it's gone in. Nice, it's spanning. That a bit of fortune there from Singapore. And now it's the captain, Ron Vla. Is it Vla? I'm fairly sure it is. That has to score this penalty now. Come on. Miss the penalty. You're a defender, right? I mean, you should be missing penalties. Oh, we saved it, but it went in anyway. What the hell? Come on. All right, now we've got to score this penalty against Michel Warm. It's Halim, the substitute. Can he score for Singapore? Yes, he has. That's it. Singapore have got to the quarterfinal. We've beaten the Netherlands. What a game. What a game. What a penalty shootout that was. And we advanced to probably...
play Brazil. I mean, it's not going to be Armenia, is it? It's going to be Brazil. And I'm, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm not looking forward to it at the same time. Since Brazil destroyed Armenia 5-0, I decided to do a defending drill because it might help us. I hope it will, but I highly doubt it. If we get destroyed 5-0, then I kind of understand it. Quarter-final time against Brazil. I'm not looking forward to this one, but at least we got here with a one-star team. I'm very proud of Singapore for their efforts at this World Cup. If, I mean, if we can beat Brazil, then by all means, but they just come off the back of a 5-0 demolition job against Armenia, and I fear that they're going to do that against us here in this match. No, stupid game, stupid game. I wanted it to that guy, that's so dumb, dude. I wanted it to that defender in front of him. This game makes no sense. It really doesn't make any sense. I passed it, you could see I was gonna pass it, or oh, whatever. I, there's no point explaining it, because you knew what I wanted it to do. Okay, well, that was a random free kick that didn't need to be given, was it, ref? I mean, now Brazil are gonna score this, 100%. It's Hulk. He's on the end of the ball, he's going to score, isn't he? He's definitely going to... Okay, well, over the bar, that's fine. Well, it's half-time, only 1-0 down, um, only through a defensive error, which you can 100% blame on me if you want to, but I'm going to blame the game for that. If it ends up at 1-0, then I'm going to be really, really upset at the fact that a defensive error cost me the game. Oh, that was a great ball. Come on, defend. Oh, I can't get past him. Great tackle by the goalkeeper, though. The goalkeeper has done some great work to keep out some crucial shots from going in in this run. Oh, another great ball and another great save. Imagine this goalkeeper, this sunny guy, is amazing. He's actually really good. Another over the top. That was a great ball, by the way, by Brazil. Oh, no, really? You scored from that angle? Okay, well, William scores and the goalkeeper couldn't save that one somehow. I mean, I'm not going to blame him. The defending wasn't that great. I thought that William was going to miscontrol it, but he actually controlled it really well. And just, yeah, it's 2-0. It's game over, 100%. I haven't even had a proper shot yet, which I will have right now. And there we go. <laughs> That's all you're going to get in this run. Well, there's only one minute of added. We're about to go out of this World Cup. Really, really... Annoyingly so, but we had to run up against Brazil at some point, didn't we? If it wasn't going to be England or Germany, it was definitely going to be Brazil or someone like that that was going to knock us out. But quarterfinals is not too bad for a nation like Singapore. I mean, yeah, okay, we did concede one goal thanks to a defensive error, but the other one was just, I don't know, William being good. It's really, really hard, this game. I'm not going to lie, it's hard to tackle, it's hard to shoot and score on this difficulty. And um, you get to a stage where you play a team like this and you just cannot do anything. But my man of the match will be the goalkeeper because our goalkeeper was amazing. Even though he conceded two goals, he still stopped some crucial chances and um, he stopped it from being an absolute blowout. So who's going to win the World Cup? It's Spain on penalties against France for free. And that is your World Cup for Singapore. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always. And I'll see you again for the next video.